my gosh. On this episode of It's Me or the Dog. Midnight will actually knock people over at the front door. He mouths their arms and tries to drag them into his bed. Midnight starts howling. Is every time. Look at all these dogs. Hello. So nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Oh, oh, wow. Goodness. When I walk in through the door, this big black dog jumps up on me, takes my arm into his mouth. Oh, my gosh. And that hurts. It's a dog symphony. They, they do that Sit. all the time. When Connie's son Gabe comes to visit, he's given his usual greeting. Now. Oh, my goodness. Now. <laughs> Hello. Gabe. Nice to meet nice. you. Victoria. Quite a reception you had there. They weren't that bad this time, but when they jumped it up and down. It wasn't that bad this time? Normally, Midnight bites my right arm. And, and Gabe yeah. has learned to put his hands out and push Mitty's face away. Pushing the face down, you're escalating the situation by doing okay. it. We've okay. got to come up with another solution <laughs> okay. that is safe <laughs> and is calm. OK, I'm all for that. I thought your wife was coming, too. We leave her in the hallway uh, until they're pretty much calm. Right? So she's in the hallway She's right in the now? hallway, yes. She's terrified of the dogs. I'm getting a very clear picture of how things are in this house. And it is crazy. Chris, it's quiet. Hi, Chris. Chris, how are you? Come on. Do you visit often? Not really. No. And you have four dogs charging at you at the door. It's tough. We just want our family together all the time. Yeah. And the dogs yeah. are our family as well. I mean, all of us. They just control too many aspects of your life. OK. Right. It's time for Victoria to take on one of the dog's biggest issues behavior at the door. When I came through this door, I got a welcome. And it wasn't the best welcome I've ever had. Oh, oh my gosh. For me who's used to dogs, no big deal. But for people who come to your home, this has got to change. So I want to teach you how to take charge of them at the door. I have a friend of mine outside. If you could ring the bell, that would be great. This is what normally happens then That's when how someone it rings. Yes. Okay. And then I go to the door. Yes. Do not go to the door. Oh, okay. What happens is that there's an expectation. So that doorbell is the trigger. The dogs leap up. You leap up. There's a surge of energy. You're not going to be able to control anything when there's that much energy. So you wait just a couple of seconds till they've calmed down a little bit. Then you get up slowly. Back. Back. Stay. All I'm doing at the door is claiming the space. The dogs need to be controlled until I tell them that they can go and greet. I don't mind whether they're sitting or they're standing. They have to stay. Good. Good. By giving the dogs something else to do at the door, they're focusing on sitting and being still, hopefully for a reward, while the person's coming in, rather than person's coming in and I'm going to jump all over them. Good. Say hello. Say hello. OK, you're going to take over, Connie. <laughs> Connie will not open the door until all the dogs are quiet, seated, stay, and focused on her. Stay. Come in. Stay. Uh, uh. The 
fact that you've given them food, they're a bit more interested in you, I don't mind. Okay. In fact, that's a lot better. Let them focus on you when that poor person comes through the door. Okay. Rather than them focusing on that person and okay. jumping all over them. I would love it to get to the point where a couple of weeks your daughter-in-law could come through the door without having to wait in the corridor. Just not to see the dogs react would be a blessing as opposed to jumping, mauling people, carrying on. Well done. All right. Very good, everybody. Thank God, you guys are angels. Yeah. Look at this. It's been two weeks since I left the Coppola family, and I'm so pleased at how far Connie and John have come with their dogs. Look at me. OK. I didn't think I'd ever see this. This is amazing. I'm very happy with the progress. I know we've moved in the right direction. Sit. Wow, look at this. Stay. Just two weeks ago, the dog's behavior at the door was appalling. Wow. Stay. That's a big difference. Stay. Now when family and friends come over, Midnight's howling is a thing of the past. Good boy. I do the door training every time. You see the Maybe difference? a little bit of training. Sure, it's really midnight. Do it again. That's midnight. Yeah, people oh, won't have to leave, leaving trails of blood in the hallway. <laughs>